three, two, one, go. One. I've asked not to be disturbed. This had better be critical. Fate of mankind? Critical enough? I don't believe what I'm seeing. I've had more than my share of that. Sit down, General. Stay away from the desk. I'd take it very seriously if I were you. I have to hand it to you, Major. When you left this office today, I never imagined you'd be back, let alone with my most decorated soldier. I'm going to tell you a story, General, and first it's going to sound ridiculous, but the longer I talk, the more rational it's going to appear. Tell him you call back. Tell who? Major General Beaumont calling from Halifax. His plane's just been delayed. Bad weather. Yes. Thank you, Beaumont. I'll call you back. Tomorrow's invasion is a slaughter. I'm dead within five minutes of landing on that beach, along with every other soldier you are sending. And that's because the enemy knows we're coming. How do I know this? Before I died, I killed a mimic, only this one was different. It passed something on to me in my blood. Now I live the same day over and over again, just like they do. Just like Sergeant Fertaski at Verdun. Tell your secretary everything's fine. Beg your pardon? Um, I'm sorry, General. I thought you were alone. It's fine. She typed up those orders for you to authorize, but she left out the ones referring to the fuel dump at Greenwich. Your name is Iris. Your birthday is September 17th. The general quietly pulled some strings, stationed your only son in Australia as far from the war as possible. Tell the general his dinner's just been canceled. The call came in just now. Your dinner was canceled. You forgot the fuel dump. Thank you, Iris. That'll be all.